Welcome back to Pine Script based algo trading series from Market Secrets. This is episode 6 of the series and in this episode we are going to see how to set targets and stop losses dynamically for our trades. So currently we have the script that we developed as part of our episode 5. So we are going to use the same script and we are going to see how to set targets and stop losses dynamically for this particular script. In our last episode we created a simple crossover strategy in that strategy the trade execution was determined by moving average crossovers and cross unders we will now build on that particular script to set specific stop losses and take profits instead of waiting for crossovers to happen to reverse the trade to keep this simple we will use average true range that is atr indicator to calculate the profit target and stop loss the atr indicator calculates the average movement over the last number of specified bars this is a good way to account for changes in volatility we can use the built in atr function to get the atr data into our pine script we have already published videos and data feeds on atr separately and it is important part of trading series so please do refer the same if you have any queries and clarifications on atr indicator so with that note let's move into the script so first part here is adding another line in the script for atr so next to rsi i am adding one more line of script that is atr and i'm using the built in atr function to get the 14 period atr data now under our trade conditions we can make the necessary calculations for our trading stop loss and our target so let's jump into the trading condition so this is the long condition so before we enter into the trade we can set the stop loss parameter value so i'm creating a variable stop loss and i'm going to use low of the candle and i'm going to subtract it by atr so atr into 2 2 times of atr we are taking and we are subtracting it from the low of the candle and keeping it as stop loss likewise we are taking target and for the target i'm taking the high and i'm adding atr and two times of the atr actually so into two so i have now have two variables stop loss and target and it has the stop loss and target values as well now the entry will remain the same there is no change in the entry but now instead of waiting for the crossover and cross unders to reverse each other we can manually exit the trade so for that i am going to use the strategy dot exit function and i am going to exit the trade and for that i need to give a unique id for this particular transaction so i'm marking that as exit and we need to mention which trade we are exiting so we will be exiting this particular trade so i'm going to use this particular exact trade id in here and followed by that i'm going to mention the stop loss and target so i'm removing the rest part of the code and i'm going to add another variable here stop loss so i'm assigning the value for stops and also another limit order for target so this is how you need to script the condition for exit so to put it simple in the above code we have calculated the stop loss by taking low of the bar at the time of the entry and subtracting it by average true range multiplied by true so if the stock moves on an average 50 points per bar on average we are setting our stop loss 100 points below low of our entry candle that's what we are doing here a similar calculation is being done for the target we will target 2x of the atr from the high of our entry candle that's it
and when it comes to strategy dot exit function so like i mentioned earlier exit is the trade id for exiting out of the trades and this long trade n is nothing but the id that we previously set when we enter into the trade so this will let the pine script to know which position we are trying to exit likewise with the stop variable we are specifying that the level contained in the stop loss variable should be used as a stop order to exit the trade likewise we are specifying that the level contained in the target variable should be used as the limit order to exit the trade so just like this we need to write similar script for the short condition as well so let's take the same script so we need to do some modifications so your star plus should be high plus atr into 2 and your target will be low minus ATR into 2 and likewise you need to mention the exit for all your short trades as well so you need to pass the right trade ID and the rest of the things will remain the same so now let's click add to chart button looks like there is some error because uh, you know there's a cop capital letter in the stop loss here and here we don't have uh, you know capital letters so I'm just replacing it and again I'm clicking add to chart so if you see here right so the new set of trades are now being triggered so let's remove this once again to avoid confusion and going back to the editor and marking this as episode 6 because this is episode 6 so now I'm coming back and adding it to the chart once again so if you look at here you see the moving averages you see the entry and the exit signals so all of this is plotted in the chart likewise in the strategy tester you will even have an overview about uh, you know how the strategy performed and you'll also have all the profit loss drawdown and uh, you know trade details and you can also go to you know list of trade to see what are the different set of trades that got executed so this is again based on the time frame we are in so if you change the time frame the results will be different so you can also check that uh, you know our exits whatever manual exits that we have mentioned right those are triggered properly right so earlier right so we will enter when there is a crossover and we will exit and short when there is a cross under now we can exit um, you know wherever we want based on our target uh, and stop loss so that's the difference and that's the objective of this particular episode which we have clearly achieved so with that note I'm closing today's session so if you have any queries comments or feedback about this episode or this whole series in general or about our whole channel in general you can always mention that in our comment section we'll be happy to answer and address it all also you can check out our website and our YouTube channel for the various offerings that we are providing to all our users so there are a lot of free content and also you know premium content available for the users so do check it out when you are free and if you like this video hit the like button and share it with your friends because your support and your interaction with us and your sharing of content is extremely important for us so please do like and share our videos also subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session thanks for watching have a great day goodbye